what I would suggest is that you go out and you get the best optics that work for, for you and that you can afford. Now, that's why I really love Vortex is because they have bridged the gap between high quality optics and affordability. So I think that, I think that that's you know, one of the great things about that company that I really enjoy and you know, using their, their both binoculars and spotting scopes over the last couple of years, all you have to do is take a look at you know, some of the stuff that we've been able to harvest over the last number of years. And if that doesn't tell you that you can do it with you know, affordable, high quality optics, then I don't know what does. I think that you try a number of them out Figure that out for yourself. And if you, if you do and you find that one specific either model or brand works for you, then absolutely get out there and charge it into the hills with, with the best optics that you can A, afford and B, that is best for you. So what I use for optics are, I use the Vortex Razor Series uh, HD. Now, I carry a set of binoculars and obviously always a spotting scope. So my binoculars, I really feel great about the 10 powers. Now, some guys really like the higher powers as well and putting them on a tripod, but I find that I'm just moving, you know, so much and to, and I, I like the lighter weight of the 10 powers and it just really works for me. I don't feel that I'm missing a lot. Um, obviously, you don't know what you're missing, but I, I feel that when I'm in the mountains, that the 10 power is something that I can hold consistently for a long period of time without having to go to a tripod, and then the tripod is always right there with my spotting scope on it. So I don't wanna lose the time between going back and forth. I can sit behind a spotting scope for hours Without, uh, without eye fatigue, and especially when you have good quality spotting scope. Like I also use the Razor series, it's a 27 to 60 power, and with an 85 objective. Um, so that really works for me. I think that you always have to try you know, these things out. I'm balancing the difference between weight and functionality as well. Like sure, if I was to be have to use a 15 power on a tripod, I probably would be it would be an advantage, but the disadvantage is the weight for me, and also the potential to to need, you know, two tripods, and that's something that I'm not willing to to work with in the mountains, um, because the kind of hunting that that often we do in western, you know, ranges require big hikes and you be, to be able to move through the mountains with weight on your back. And I'm certainly not going to add extra weight um, in that situation when I feel very comfortable and confident with what I use now. Thanks guys, uh, I really appreciate it. Gals, what I would like to do is, uh, yeah, if subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, we really appreciate your support. We want to keep providing as much good information as we can. Feel free to fire us off some questions and we'll try to get back to you and answer them in some more of these videos. But thanks again. We really appreciate it.